Hello and welcome to the show. And like all good fail race filming sessions, it is night here in Forza Horizon 3. We are going to be racing some convertibles today in B class. Now, for this versus the community, the rules were you cannot change your car. So, the vehicle that you use for the first race must be used for all of them, and we're going to be going to a mixture of different sorts of races. I've gone for a fairly middle-of-the-road, all-wheel drive converted Mercedes, about 300 horsepower in this car. Our opponents are in an interesting selection of vehicles. We have a backwards Honda S2000, a Corvette, Jaguar, BMW, there's a couple of BMWs uh, around here. There's a couple of Plymouth Prowlers as well. We've got another Mercedes in very, very distinctive pink. We've got a Tiger, quite literally a Tiger, another Corvette, a tree. Yes, a tree is competing here. And we have an MX-5. Some of these cars have over a thousand horsepower, but they're going to be rear-wheel driving on standard tyres, which means... Well, dirt is likely to be be interesting, really. Not going to be a problem, though, for them in our first race. As we are starting off, relatively sensible as far as I do. Anyway, the Archway Meadows circuit, relatively fast track around here. Apparently, the last thing I drove was the Lola at this place. I, I do vaguely remember driving the Lola um, at this track. We're going to go B-Class. Yeah, hopefully, oopsie, that's not what we wanted to do, we want to go race settings. Hopefully, we can have a nice close race and, yeah, see how it goes. I don't really know if my, mid my, my Mercedes might be a very good overall car or it might just not be specialised enough and be slow. That is a very, very distinct possibility. We will find out fairly quickly. So, here we are for our first race. Got to be wary, I'm starting kind of in the middle of the field. Got to be wary of the very, very powerful cars. There are some very powerful cars. There are some very, very good handling cars. Uh, I think one of the power cars is at the front of the grid, the Corvette. So that might be okay because they will just launch their way past us uh, off the start line. My Mercedes does bog down a little bit. There goes a Jaguar. There goes a couple of Plymouths and an MX-5. Uh, everything is going soaring past. And then we will make up a lot more time through the corners. My BMW is on street tyres. I've got to get rid of the uh, kind of uh, score list board. Leaderboard, that's the thing we want. That was the word we're after. As I uh, can't see the rear view mirror at all. That BMW is very sideways and very fast in a straight line. <laughs> this is the ultimate power versus handling, it seems. We've gone sweeping past the BMW. And the, BM <laughs> the speed is absurd. <laughs> the speed is absurd. But it's not controlled at all. The Tiger wants to have a go at the inside. Oh, I'm going to get stuck in traffic. He will do, as I carry a bit too much speed in there and got stuck. Whereas the BMW is visiting some scenery again. The BMW is going to have plenty of practice for the dirt race. He's going to <laughs> spend, he's spent more race on the dirt than I think he has on the tarmac. There it goes again. We're going to. I, I think we're going to language down at the back. This is not. The, this is not a circuit. This is not the sort of racing that is going to suit my Mercedes. I was aware of that when I built it. The Prowler is going to try and go defensive. Oh, I got a little. I got a little bit brave there. I'll be honest. Doesn't matter though. Look at the grip in the Mercedes. <laughs> it's incredible. Uh, I mean, we're holding on. We're holding on to this group. Ah, oh, damn it. The issue I have, the issue I foresee, still the BMW is struggling behind us, and now it's going to come soaring past. Yep, I'm just going to get out of the way. Like, there's no point in me fighting that. He's coming through, and I'd rather he go through and not affect me. As I, was, as I was about to say before we got distracted, the issue I have is that I need to make up time through the corners. I need to, because that is the only place I'll make lap speed. And the issue is I've got a Prowler, for example, in front of me here who is not going particularly fast through the corners. So, yeah, I kind of need to get some clean air, because lap time-wise, I might be okay, but we, we need to not be in traffic here for this to work. Ah, uh, the Prowler's actually doing a really good job of defending from me at the moment. Again, I will get up the inside here, but it doesn't matter. I haven't been able to have a big dive down into turn two. Ah, uh, still can't do it. Oh, this is very, very frustrating. <laughs> I want more power in my Mercedes, and they're off again. Uh, we're not actually that far behind the uh, the leaders in all of this. This might be one of the better kind of handling orientated cars that I have built, in all honesty. Although I have just spied a Jaguar going very sideways behind. That's a very sideways Jaguar behind me that is heading towards us, and we'll probably want to steal our position. MX-5 is visiting the grass some more. 
this is not the rally the rally stages on the rally cross stages yet. This is the tarmac stuff, and we've had a lot of rallying go on. I'm taking a little bit of a cheeky a cheeky line through turn one, but there we go. Uh, now we're not so close. Oh no, I can't sneak underneath. Oh, damn it, I can't. <laughs> I, just can't, I cannot get past the bright blue at Prowler. That's very infuriating. The tiger is up into a podium spot at the expense of the MX-5 that is still exploring the outer limits of the track. We managed to pull away a little bit from the quite out of control Jaguar. I feel sorry for the poor BMW. This is the sort of track that the BMW would probably be better at than some of the tracks we're going to go to and that's struggling big time. So, <laughs> yeah, he might not be uh, in for a particularly uh, high finishing. Ah, oh, God damn it, I was trying to get to the inside. I couldn't do it, didn't have the speed. Prowler defended very, very well in all of that. I will have to settle for the sixth place. That was a hell of a close finish for eighth there between Honda and the Datsun. Whew. Well, that was an interesting event. Really, really interesting lap time-wise. Very close between all of us. The top six incredibly close. Considering I was about the only one in a car that had any handling, to be that close to some of the power cars is very good going, actually. I'm quite pleased with this Mercedes. I'm quietly confident as we move forward with the next events that this Mercedes might have been a pretty damn decent choice. We will have to wait and see, but it might, fingers crossed, just work out for me. So I am hoping this next event will suit my Mercedes, the Redstone Cross Country Circuit, this around the airfield. Oh, we start at the front, even better really, uh, starting at the front of the field. If we can get away cleanly, I know we're going to get mugged by a few cars. The thing is, when it starts coming to the bumps and the jumps and the dirt, we should be in pretty good stead here, I hope. We hopefully are not going to lose too many places early on. <laughs> Bloody Prowler. And a Corvette. Uh, oh, everything's coming already. Everything's coming. Everything's flying through the air. The MX-5 is in the barrier, and I have been turned around. Grab the handbrake. Well, that's 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 not helped. I think something flew through the air wonkily. Oh, piss. There was a checkpoint over there. Well, I mean, that race has gone down the toilet. That, that, that's... Uh, wow. Um, yeah, the race... I, uh, I really thought we had a good chance here. I really thought the Mercedes stood a very, very good chance here. We have got five laps. We have got five laps to try and do a absolutely amazing comeback. Now, I did say, I think in the last first community on Horizon 3, I've never come last in a Horizon 3 event, and I am planning to maintain that if we don't get lost. I, I would like to uh, keep that up, but already I, I, someone's had an accident on the jump. There's a car stuck moving, uh, not, or not stuck, not moving, sorry, over to the side of the course. We were very nearly, uh, it was not quite as close to landing on the back of it as I thought we were. I guess at the end of the day, we could go for fastest lap. If uh, we're going to be stuck down towards the back of the field, I will go for, or try and go for fastest lap if we have the grip, if we have the speed, and we have the control across the jumps. Let's see how we fare this time around. Oh, nicely done. I think we must have got hit, because I don't know why else the car would have suddenly been rocked sideways. It's possible it was just an awkward landing when we bounced. I don't think we did, but yeah. <laughs> can't, can't really... Oh, there's a flying barrel. Can't really tell much more at this moment in time. This is the section of the track our Mercedes will like as we come up this sort of crest. You try and skirt around that as much as possible. You don't want to be getting airtime. While it's less spectacular, if you're not in the air, you've got your wheels on the ground, you're powering forward, essentially. So we are going to avoid uh, any airtime we can. Unfortunately, nothing you can do about heading down here. My Mercedes is also on rally suspension, which, while on the tarmac circuits, is perhaps not quite as good. You know, it's a lot higher riding. However... Out here, we should be happy. And I figured that the gains from you know, the rally suspension when it comes to off-roading is greater than the losses for when you are struggling around on the tarmac, essentially. Uh, ooh, there we go. If I throw there once more. Such a nasty jump through the hangar. It's really easy to get into trouble. Uh, looking at distances to sort of the leader and so on, it seems kind of parts I gain, parts I lose time. I think overall I'm a little bit slower 
than the Jaguar at the front. There's another car out in some containers. That's the S2000 that uh, we are going to come flying past. Well, I might be able to keep up my record of having not finished last in a uh, Horizon 3 versus the community because we've just gone and taken the BMW as well. Where is he? Uh, I know that BMW's got a lot of speed. Thank you for that. Almost landed on a plane, but we didn't, so things are okay. Things are okay. <laughs> oh, dear. And heading around the final turn, we have found the Blue Prowler. Look at the speed that I can carry through there. It's incredible. The MX-5 is actually looking pretty quick around here. I would imagine all-wheel drive converted. I don't think anything with rear-wheel drive is going to be having a fun time around this track, quite frankly, especially considering a lot of the cars that will be with rear-wheel drive are likely to have a lot of power in them. Yeah, probably not having the most enjoyable experience at this circuit. Uh, there's kind of a little bit of a group of cars up ahead of me if we can be uh, very, very fast. Maybe we can catch and get involved. I'm not quite sure where the MX-5 was going there. MX-5 went all the way across the crest. We got a little bit of a nudge, which uh, I shall return slightly unintentionally, but there we go. There's a Corvette spun. Don't know how the Corvettes ended up in trouble out there. Through all of that, we've worked our way up into fifth place. But being, well, missing a checkpoint and being a long way back at the start, I will take that. We've got another little bit of a, I think we've got a bit of a knock in mid-air. Controller vibrated while we were flying through the air, so that's the only reason I can think why it uh, would be. Oh, bugger. Oh. <laughs> we clipped it enough. That's all that matters. I thought I'd done a dumb. We hadn't. We're in fifth place. We're once again going to be fighting with that Prowler. You know what? You can go past because I know where I'm going to be better than you, and that is on the way through this corner. We will fight our our, our corner there. No, I tried to make it as wide as I can. <laughs> now it's my turn. It is my turn to make the wide Mercedes. Oh, we've got a very, very quickly approaching Corvette on the outside. Can't do really, can't do really very much about that. Get out of the way. Not for a second race in the row. No, I will not stand. For a second rate, or well, maybe I will, because the Corvette's decided he's coming through. Oh, piss off! <laughs> Corvette's decided he's coming through, and, uh, well, yeah, there's not so much I could do about that one. Uh, no, I'm, you can just sit behind the Mercedes, thank you very much. Uh, we will fly through the air. It's a huge leap from the Merc. We're going to try make it around the outside of this corner that will put us on the inside for the final turn. I'm going to return the favours that I got throughout that race, and we will be taking fifth place on that. The Browler will out accelerate me, but it's not got enough time. <sighs> not fast, is that? Corvette. In fact, Corvette would take victory. Corvette Jaguar very, very quick. It was a yeah, relatively decent showing from the Mercedes. Yeah, I, I am still lacking a bit of straight line speed. It is quite fun having so much grip. It's really quite fun having so much grip in some of these instances. But uh, I'm certainly lacking a little bit, little bit of straight line speed. My overall build car is, is okay. It's just not quite got the power, essentially. So we are off to Surfer's Paradise for our next race. Skylight View Circuit. I do think my Mercedes might struggle a little bit here. I'm going to be honest. Oh, we're right down to what? I'm surrounded by prowlers, goddammit. We are right down at the back, and there are some very, very quick cars starting, well, at the front. Maybe the BMW will be able to survive this one without uh, hopelessly bumping into everything. If anywhere, it is probably going to be this half-decent start from the Mercedes. Going to get one prowler. We got one prowler briefly. Bye-bye, prowler. Uh, no. <laughs> you can really tell the cars... <laughs> Look at a minimap. That is one group of speed cars. This is one group of handling cars. Handling cars, I mean, they are going to be quick in places around this circuit because there are some nasty turns. Uh, however, the overriding theme is going to be these acceleration zones. Yeah, it's not going to be quite as much fun in the Mercedes. Come on, try and get to the inside. We will get to the inside of some, and then they will go flying past. There's a Datsun that's slower than me in a straight line. There's one car, at least, that is slower than the Mercedes. Oh, crap. Not the throwing telephone poles at me already. Oh, one of the Corvettes missed the checkpoint. It is very easily done, I will admit, around here. Was it the V8, the V8 Utes that we went racing with at this circuit? Probably the last time I used it, to be honest. Uh, they, quite a lot of them, ended up missing checkpoints around here. It is yeah, incredibly, incredibly easy to do, as I might have just done there. Uh, we got away with it. 
It's uh, always scary when like the car ahead hits the checkpoint flag and knocks it out of the way. Because I'm never quite sure where the hitbox for that checkpoint is going to uh, is going to end up. We're going to go around the outside of an S2000. Can't do it. The S2000 is going to get the Corvette. Oh, Corvette's off into visiting the wall, but we'll oh, just about make it back on track. I love how I'm doing 120 miles an hour in my car through the streets of Surfer's Paradise, and this is about the slowest thing here, bar a Datsun. It's quite quite a strange, it's just the way Forza. The way Forza goes, and the way that the, the builds for these cars just tend to end up, power is so very, very important. I do think that of all of the times I've built a handling car, this is one of the better kind of overall vehicles. This circuit, yeah, is never going to be to the Mercedes strengths, there's no doubt about that, but uh, I do think that this is one of the better overall overall builds that uh, that I have done. But we're never going to keep up with that Corvette in a straight line or the BMW. We might be able to fight our way past the S2000. I think we might have the grip on that. We've got a little bit of a ghost car going on here with a uh, BMW. Uh, come on. Come on, Mercedes. Go. The Honda's faster than us in a straight line. The, Merce the BMW, sorry, is about the same speed. Oh, we're going to end up... Oh, it's just about a car's width. The Honda actually made the uses of himself. That's helped me out massively. Okay, we have come out of all of that in an eighth place. That's okay for now. I mean, it could be, could be worse. And that, 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 that's what we're going for at the moment. It could be a lot worse. I love how much the cars ahead of braking here. I'm flat out. It's easy flat out in the Mercedes. On the brakes we go to the next corner. That's three cars ahead of me that have found that poor person's front yard. Uh, come on. <laughs> Just so agonizingly slow around here. Yeah, I don't, we're not so horrendously far back in terms of lap times, but it is the annoying where I can, you know, I can see the cars I'm racing against. I can see the vehicles that uh, that I want to try and find ways past. We we're just that little bit too slow in that we're stuck in this uh, unable to overtake area. And I've got this exactly, again, exactly the same prowl. Oh, I've done the same thing, please. And I've counted. Okay. It's being a little bit kind to me, which is rare. Very rare, in fact, for a Forza game to be kind to me. But there we go. The crazy yellow BMW is up ahead. Uh, he's struggling and will be struggling for grip. I don't know where the prowler's going there. He's having all sorts of bother. We are past, but we're going to get immediately repassed down this back straight. Uh, that you could have gone the uh, easy way, but you decided to go the difficult way by right next to the concrete wall, but never mind. You're going to want to probably... You didn't break. You probably wanted to at least have a little lift through there. On the brakes we go to the next corner. I can carry that speed. I know you can't. Right. BMW is the target. Be brave. Be flat out through some of these corners. We know we can be. Prowler might come and try and have a look. I'll make it difficult for him. I don't think it's really going to matter, though, because he's just going to come. He's got so much overspeed on me, he will just come flying past. But we're going <laughs> to out-corner him once more. And again, through this next turn. Oh, I was hoping he was going to slide through there a little bit quicker. Well, I need the BMW. I, mean, I know the BMW is going to have issues. If we break early, let the Prowler again. <laughs> again, trying to get through a cutback is not quite working. I think that's cost me any chance of getting up to that BMW, because the BMW will have massive issues. Through. That's what we wanted to be doing. Uh, through these fast corners, however, too much time battling a bloody prowler once more has cost me. I mean, yeah, we're going to fly through that turn. The Plymouth will accelerate, but will not uh, get me just yet. Oh, we've got one more lap. I thought it was a four-lap race. My bad. We've got another lap to try and make this work. Oh, it's my turn to try and go around the outside. Found a bin, but we have made it work for now. God. <laughs> Still trying to go for a cutback annoyingly. Here would keep the position. Oh, for God's sake! This is so infuriating. Like, I would be fighting that BMW on this lap, but that's done it for me now. That's... That's me done for. That's so annoying. It's nothing I can do about it. That's the, the worst thing is, if I try to go around the outside, there's nothing I can do, so I've got to rely on going for that line. And, yeah, we've just been boxed in and boxed in through corners. And, well, I mean, I need a mistake to happen up ahead, really, if there's to be any hope for the Mercedes. I need someone to run wide or get a big oversteer moment through a corner, which I don't think is going to happen, unfortunately. It might happen. I mean, I'm being oh, ultra brave here. It is flat out 
in the Mercedes. Okay, there's a little, actually, a little bit, a little bit of a lift on the way in. Oh, they've missed a checkpoint, I think. If they've got that, I would be astounded. <laughs> Karma got you. <laughs> I say Karma got you. It is perfectly fair. It's just irritating for me as a driver uh, to be following that. We were catching the BMW. I think we would have got. I think we would have got the BMW had. Had we not got caught up with the Plymouth yet again for another two laps, miles out. There was basically two races in that. There were the power cars and then there were the, well, the handling cars plus one absurdly out of control BMW. So, <laughs> an interesting mix, but there we go. Ah, well, I mean, I've continued the whole not finishing last thing at least, so... I'll take that. We've leveled up. You know what? Seeing as I've not finished talking just yet, let's go for the wheel spin. Let's see if we can get something half decently interesting from a wheel spin. I tend not to bother recording these anymore because we get crap. I mean, it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. Um, if it's positively good for my luck with wheel spins. And to finish off, we have got some rain at the Rainforest Cross Country Circuit. I think there are two cars with uh, hard tops that are going to be the uh, lucky uh, drivers in this field. We have a half decent starting spot on the grid. Now, the power cars are going to have some fun here. The Rainforest Circuit is uh, quite a brutal place. Quite a brutal place indeed. There are jumps, there is water splash, there is all sorts of things to be worried about. There's a steep hill, there's ditches to fall into. I'm hoping the Mercedes is going to come good. This is the terrain that I did sort of hope, I did kind of, um, I say, I kind of, as I said, I built the, the Mercedes to be good overall, and I did hope that because it's more overall than crazy power, that it would be good when it comes to the dirt stuff, when it comes to the extreme off-roading stuff. Indeed, the Corvette, the MX-5, are having some issues. The Tiger is up on the outside. All of us go flying through the air once more. I landed on the boot of a Tiger. That's, yeah, we've got away with it, though. We haven't sent anybody to space, and everything is fine. We are in... Are we going to get the lead for the first time in this session? I believe we are, as we jump through the water. Oh. There's a bump from something. What was it? I don't even know. It was the MX-5. And the Corvette has come here to uh, say hello. Visibility is lacking. Corvette said hello to some trees as well as the Tiger's got all four of us through to one. <laughs> Visibility is, yeah, quite difficult with the sun going on in these... Uh, <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting there to be uh, such bright sun if it's raining, to be honest. But, well, that's, um, that's Australia for you right there. Oh, crap. I'm didn't, uh, oh, bugger, 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 bugger. I was busy faffing around with gears and with just... That has basically been my, my day. I, I was busy watching the Tiger and did not... I see me isn't really quite loud enough, but I uh, did not notice that uh, I had changed gear and then I was busy faffing about with that. And, yeah, well, that's just... Ah... <sighs> You know, sometimes you have these days where nothing goes right, and today is, is kind of being one of them, it seems. Oh, piss. Um, I don't know why my team suddenly got quieter. It shouldn't have done, but it, I'm now really struggling to hear my car at the moment, which is very weird. Oh, for God's sake. Not the Prowler again. Please go and play in the trees. I'm coming through, basically, at that point. Um, yeah, I think my TV might be having some issues. I think I'm hoping the capture's still working if it's uh, messing about with stuff, but, uh, well, I guess we've got a few more laps to hope that somebody has an accident and that we can make up some places. Speaking of an accident, uh, we just had a prowler go for a little bit of a wobbly, but that's fine. I don't have the grip to get away with what I want to be doing down there anymore, and now I'm driving like a tit because I want to make up some time. Uh, well, that's... Uh... <sighs> But it's one of those points where I'm just, I just I want this race to be done now so I can give up with this Mercedes and never use it again. It's not a bad car. It's just it's not got any luck. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's that, really. I'm bored of racing a Prowler. I, I did have high hopes for this Mercedes at this track. I really did. thought it could be quite good. I don't think I have... I'm just lacking about that four or five percent grip that I really want for this to be uh, able to quite compete with the just crazy fast cars. 
it was it was worth a try to go for a, a slightly different build to try and make something that isn't just brutal power work here, but it's just not quite quick enough. I think this, of all the tracks here, this is the one where it probably did stand the best chance, but I'm not sure even then that it was quite going to be up to the task. I do spy an MX-5, but we might be able to recover a, what is that, fourth place up ahead if we have a uh, good a good final lap. I don't know. The Datsun's actually doing quite well around here, which is, is nice to see. The Datsun might even be on off-road tyres, for all I know. That might... Uh, it's not very quick in a straight line, so I would expect that to be on some higher grade of tyres. Uh, we'll get around, make sure we actually do get that uh, checkpoint. Soar through the air once more, clomp the ground quite hard. Mercedes dealing with the bumps uh, nicely, as you would expect. The rally suspension too. But there's not much I can... I need another about three laps, I think, really, to go chasing after that, uh, that MX-5. Might be able to get the Datsun around this final corner. Maybe even the BMW if he gets into trouble. Someone's going to go a lap down. The uh, Prowler there not having a good day. Ah, uh, no. Really. I mean, I tried to throw it at the final corner, but uh, it wasn't having any of it. The Prowler's wiggling around all over the road. Uh, and I'm not going to be able to catch the Datsun. We're going to have to settle for a terrible seventh place. Yeah, I did not quite have fastest lap. Corvette, uh, Sunbeam Jaguar would take victory at the end. Pretty decent, though, from the Mercedes, as I had hoped. Could have had fun at the front, but bugger it, really. Um, yeah, well, I tried to build a non-power car, and it just didn't quite pan out. It was close, probably one of the closer times I've had to getting a handling car to work with this Mercedes. Probably one of, indeed one of the closest times I've had a, a more handling-focused car to work. However, yeah, still still not quite good enough. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.